I'm, I'm sorry for what I'm said when I was undercarbed. Such a true statement. How, much, how many arguments and stuff do we have when we're undercarbed or dehydrated or underslept? But can I be real with you right now? Like real, like no trolling, no bullshit, no like pretentiousness, no jump cuts, just straight up real and what it feels like. Why do I share so much of my life on YouTube? Why do I share so much of my life on YouTube? Just rolling out of bed and uh, have my water, getting some sugars in. Subordinating yourself to other people. What does subordinate mean? Subordination is where you put yourself at a lower rank than someone. <clears throat> Question on Tumblr about Duran Rod as a manipulative person. I definitely am. You listen to my advice and you, you let me manipulate you. I guarantee you have the best ever fitness you've ever had. Assuming you're not an EPO. And I'll, I'll guarantee you have the best uh, social media success, best lifestyle. You'll find uh, better partners to be around. You'll find better crew to be around. If you listen to my advice and if you let me manipulate you, I fucking guarantee it. If you can find a better manipulator on the internet in life ever you've ever met who can man help you manipulate yourself into better life situations financially, health-wise, fitness-wise, socially or whatever, if you can find somebody who gives better advice and better manipulation tactics than me, let me know. This is a voiceover. I'm going to give you five minutes of the best, the gold. I'm not going to fucking bullshit anymore. I'm going to tell you straight up, tough Drew and is back in town. No, just straight up, man. Straight up, if you're fucking serious about losing weight, you sell your car today. You don't step foot in another motherfucking car, train, or bus unless you've got a broken motherfucking leg. And even then, you should ride with one fucking leg. <laughs> My friends at the gym call me whole grain. I'm doing a retreat in Thailand. <laughs> It costs a thousand bucks a week. It costs five thousand dollars a week. I'm only on there for certain hours per day. Don't ask me any questions outside of that time. I don't really want to fucking talk to you unless you've bought something from me. And even then, my time is limited. Come and sign up for my retreat. It's expensive as fuck. I'm fake fuck. I'm a fake fatty. I'm as fake as fuck full natty bra. My friends at the gym call me whole grain. Because one day I shot too much sus too fitty and I pissed a whole grain of it. On Venus. Full natty bra whole grain. If it's Mr. John whole grain full natty bra Venus, and uh, if I say, okay, in three months' time, sir, then we can do a drug test. He's like, okay, I've got three months to cycle off my steroids. I've got three months or whatever, a few weeks to take some fucking diuretics to clean my system, to take some precipitin and stuff like that to clean up, and then go to the test. Hey, guys, I'm clean. I look like a fucking steroid addict, but I'm clean. Fucking frauds out there. I shouldn't have to pay for your fucking drug tests, okay? If you... Everyone thinks you're fucking on the gas, and anyone who doesn't is a fucking noob, and they're the gullible fucks that will buy these people's programs. Oh, oh I'm not gonna pay 40 bucks or 100 bucks a week or whatever to fucking count my fucking lentils out. Like, serious? To count your fucking milligrams of testosterone and anthate, counting your fucking oxymethylene pills. These frauds out there stealing kids' money, laughing all the way to the bank, and then someone like me comes along and tells some truth, speaks with personal experience of using anabolics. And they're like, oh, do I not? You're all as jealous because, like, because you're not on steroids as much and all this stuff. Fuck me. Anyway, again, if you can find something more transparent, let me know, man. And these dopers, what do I think of them? I think they're a fucking joke. I think they're all a bunch of fucking, not cunts, but just, just a joke. They're just money hungry fame whores. That's all they are. Money fucking, ha money fucking hungry fame whores. They stand for nothing, really. They're jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. Everything's scripted, everything's rehearsed. Everything's politically fucking correct. Fuck politics, focus on ethics. So I've got the Trump, what's my vision of the Trump situation? I don't believe in election. I believe in selection. Like, if you really believe that the people, this is my personal opinion, if you really believe that when you vote, like, your vote actually matters, like, I'll tell you what, the only fucking vote, what matters is every dollar you spend, that's the fucking vote for what you believe in. The only vote that matters is where you put your fucking money. When you have people that live and breathe something, in my opinion, they're the qualified people. They're the people you want to go for, for the advice. Versus someone that went to university or did a course or whatever, not to discredit these, that situation, because that, that means you can apply yourself and that's really good. That's awesome. If you can go for university or a course and apply yourself and get it done, get your certificate or your PhD or your doctorate or whatever you're going to get, your bachelor's, that's, it shows you can apply yourself. So that's really good. It doesn't mean you know what you're talking about though. If you're, if you're working in a job you don't want to do, don't take drugs to do that job better. Get the fuck out of that job. I'm going to gently carefully catch this guy. And just very carefully because their wings are very delicate. I'm going to take you inside. 
Do a radical. Oh, it's box setting. Okay. Oh, just gently, just careful, 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 everybody. And I'm gonna open up this door and put the camera down. And here we go. All that matters is you do something. There's two rules to YouTube. Well, there's a lot of rules, but there's two main rules. Two C's. Consistency and controversy. Consistency meaning bang out the videos. Just bang out the videos. The more you do, the more energy you put in, the more energy you come back. The more chance someone's going to find your channel, find your video. And I recommend doing a diverse niche. I'll do anything. I'm like an omnivore when it comes to YouTube. I'll do any video on any topic. But it's like... It, here's the thing, it's like, it's like burning calories, man. In nature, if you burn too many calories, you may die because you don't get enough food, become weak, and the tiger gets you. In nature, if your pack rejects you, doesn't prove of you, they fuck you off, you're out in the jungle where the tiger may get you. So there's two things to remember. We don't live in the fucking jungle anymore, it's a concrete jungle. No, you don't run out of food. If you watch the internet, you've got access to money. You don't want those people who's gonna die today in you know, certain parts of Africa or Bangladesh or wherever who doesn't have enough food. So there's, there's like those, that mentality doesn't apply to you anymore. So you need to overcome the fear of doing exercise or moving your body because you don't, you, you've got unlimited calories. You can burn unlimited calories, you can always find food in today's world, the Western world. So do as much work as you can every single day, go to bed early, get it fucking done every day. But uh, so resting is laying down, falling asleep. If you can, that's a bonus. But resting is resting, laying down on the beach, on the lawn, on the sofa, in your bed. It's all about resting, you know. So many people don't get enough rest and they they wonder why they never achieve their goals. Be it health or fitness. Rest, man. <laughs> get more rest. Everybody today needs more rest, you know. If you got kids, you need more rest. <laughs> people go, fuck you, Harley, I've got kids. I can't lay on the beach all day. And it's like, well, you know, you've you've got kids, so you've you've obviously wanted that lifestyle, so you obviously form a template that you can work with that lifestyle. I mean, I've, I chose to have a vasectomy years ago so I can live my lifestyle. So everyone's got their lifestyle they choose in life. And it's just about finding a way. So six human needs, we're here on uh, Kuji, Koji, Kuji. How do you say it down below? Doesn't really matter. I've got my sunnies on. I hope it's not too uh, unpersonal. It's just a bit glary. I can probably run those, those sunnies. Well, we squint a bit too much. Anyway, with six human needs, we have, oh, this is something I learned 10 years ago, uh, this thing's a lot of Tony Robbins stuff. Tony Robbins, I agree with a lot of things he says, diet, so not so much, but anyway. He does have some gold nuggets in there. Um, six human needs, we start with certainty, uncertainty, significance, connection, growth, and contribution. The six human needs, certainty, uncertainty, significance, connection, growth, contribution. Find better ways, keep growing, not just settle for less, you know, settle for, settle for fucking nothing but the best, really. Every day I wake up, I do everything I fucking, not everything, I do anything I want to do, you can't do everything in one day. But I basically wake up every single day of my life, and I do every, anything I want to do. Anything I want to do, I can jump on a plane, go anywhere in the world I want, I can just do whatever I want to do. So I was forced to live back on welfare again and I couldn't pay my rent and eat the organic fruit I wanted to so I'm thinking fuck it I'll just go homeless again. But this time it was better because I was into more into nature and I'd go camping and just sleep on the beaches man for ages. So for yeah, maybe eight years man I was just like living on welfare and most of the time homeless and or house sitting or relying on friends generosity for really cheap rent. So that's why I'm generous with my time and I'm generally a generous person for people who are trying. And I'm not like a charity case, but if I see someone make an effort, I've been helped out in the past, so I like to pay it forward. Sell your fucking car, put that money into a bike or more shit into your bike. Buy some fucking better wheels or buy a city bike, a spare bike, a backup bike, a Trek 7.3 hybrid bike with fenders and racks on it. And you motherfucking ride everywhere. You do everything on the bike. You won't set foot in a motherfucking car unless it's a medical emergency. Unless it's just, you just have to be in a car for some medical emergency. You just avoid burning oil whenever it takes. You don't put the heating on. You don't put the air con on. Unless you're having sex and you're sweating so much, you'll fucking slip out of the bed. You're so motherfucking sweaty. Relatable content. Relatable content where your demographic can see you as like a community leader or an advisor or just, just an average everyday person. You're sharing your story. And that's why it's called YouTube. 
cut. <laughs> and don't be afraid to make fun of yourself. Because if you can't make fun of yourself, what's the point of doing it? If it ain't fun, it's not worthwhile. A channel without controversy and consistency is like a bike without a front wheel. It ain't really gonna go anywhere fast. So my recovery is like really fucking good. I don't need to dope to recover. If you look how much I train, anyone using drugs to re recover from that is a really, like literally a fucking soft fuck, man, seriously. And like, what are you eating, bro? Why are you eating those inflammatory foods? Why are you eating animal products? Like if you're a pro cyclist and you're still fucking eating meat and dairy, and you want to be leaner, like what, it's like riding with 50 PSI on your tires, like why the fuck are you doing that? And all products have the metabolic waste products. Your kidneys have to process that. That's less EPO that they can produce. That's more, like that's more arachidonic acid, that's more inflammation, which means more body weight, which means your watts per kilo goes down less. Cutting out sugar is the dumbest thing fucking ever. Having protein shakes and shit like that, because some fat, dumb fuck nutritionist who couldn't even fucking do a 200K ride, who couldn't keep up with you guys in training, and you're listening to them, what, why, man? That's just like listening to your fucking team mechanic who can't even put a fucking chain on properly. I wanna see all these dopers get on, get on my program, get on Carb the Fuck Up, and then we'll see the hour record get smashed again, then we'll see the marathon world record get dropped again, then we'll see everything get dropped again. Doping plus carbon the fuck up, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. And by doping, I don't mean a little bit of testosterone, I mean EPO, the corticosteroid injections, you know, the hardcore stims, the, like the real shit, the shit that kills people with heart, heart attack. Basically, you've got, you got to dope so hard, you're willing to risk heart attack at any moment. If 10 kills you, take nine and fucking win. You won't ride any better, but I could coach you with your diet and your recovery and you get way more performance enhancement than taking anything, even EPO. I mean, EPO would only work if you're doing everything right and doing the training. Otherwise, you're just wasting drugs. You're just wasting drugs. So hopefully that clears it up. Probably confusing a lot more people's 15 minute video. But I've done anabolic steroids. I've done illegal doping products, but all of them, from the local family doctor. And all of them I could get a TUE for. We live in this fucking crazy world. I've I even seen some girls saying the other day, oh, you're a steroid cheap, blah, blah, blah. And then I, out of curiosity, I go to the Instagram page and they're like, oh, they're following, uh, what's his name, Chris Hemsworth or all these steroid fucking Hollywood uh, fake nutty bras. And I'm like, you, you know, like, are you that dumb? Are you such a fucking handbag basic? Or you're such a, even the guy version of a barbell basic. Oh, you're like, you're a steroid shirt, you're a steroid shirt. And they follow Kino Body and Mark Lobliner and all these other fake natties. And it's like, man, well, we're just, everyone's just half asleep. Only 1% of my viewers right now will understand this video. The rest will be like, what, what, like, steroid, like, oh, what? Do you know I was doing a tour de France? Like, go and get it. Leave some questions down below. Let's do some follow-up videos. A bit of a ramble there for you. Leave the questions.